Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and tonight I am going to talk about how to create a multiple variant product inside of your Shopify store. So um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things I've been messing around with that I discovered the other day. So you can see here if I type in Galaxy Leggings it's going to come up with like nine different variants, right? But I haven't swapped this one over yet. So we will go through um, converting that one in um, Printful and Shopify to get this all under one. Um, but I've already gone through and done that for these face coverings here that come in multiple options. So if you click on this camouflage face covering, um, it's not just this green camo print. It's actually multiple different styles. So instead of listing the same product six times, you can list everything under one listing, which makes the site look a little bit cleaner. Um, that way you don't have like hundreds and hundreds of products overwhelming people, right? Um, I also went ahead and did this for um, the Zodiac sign coffee mugs. I used to have 12 different listings, and now I have each Zodiac sign listed in one fun listing. And you can also do this for um, clothing as well. And I have already gone ahead and done that on... A couple of the legging sets that I have so if you click on the comic book leggings you can see that um, this white pair will show up here you can actually click on the size and choose what size you want as well as the color and it will show you what that looks like so I just thought it was a cool thing that I stumbled upon the other night when I was sitting down trying to sleep and couldn't so I was messing around and I was like huh there has to be a way to do this and uh, kind of figured it out. So there is a kind of long way and a kind of a short way to do this. I'm going to show you the quickest way. And for me, since I create a lot of the same products for print on demand, um, I'm just going to do like a basic copy. But for now, since I know that I'm going to focus on these galaxy leggings, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your product page. And if you already have a bunch of variants that are separated that you want to put together, this process is probably the easiest one. So I'm just going to click on the black galaxy leggings here. Okay. And you can see there's a bunch of media and I'll probably um, get rid of a lot of this. These ones take a little bit of time. So maybe it's a bad one to start with, but I'm going to go through a couple and then I'll pause it and finish it up and then we'll hop over to Printful. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add variant. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do first. I'm sorry. You want to go to your product that you want to add more to. So in this case, we're going to add more colors. You're going to click on more options and edit options and you're going to add another option and that's going to be color, right? So we're going to start with black. And I can only add one variant at a time because that's what I have. So I'm going to click on done. And you can see that it populates that black variant. And you're going to click on save. <clears throat> and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add variant. And here's where it gets a little tedious, right? You can go here. You can duplicate the extra small and then add your color. So we'll just start from the top and click save. And you're going to go ahead and do that for all the colors. Duplicate that. Red. Click Save. But if you don't want to type red in every time, you can just duplicate what you just made. Medium. Large. extra large okay 
and then <clears throat> you can see that this image is staying the same and that's fine these will change as we push them through um, the Printful app so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this real quick and I'm gonna fill out the rest of the colors that I have okay so now I have all 40 of the variants entered into here by size and color of the galaxy print now since I already have these broken up into my shop Getting these onto Printful is going to be pretty seamless because I'm just going to end up deleting the base products after I move them over to here. Um, when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this in an entirely different way in case you don't have products to pull from. Um, but it'll be a very similar process. So you're going to want to go over to your Printful store and click on View Store. And at this point, the Products should have synced to the store, and I'm just going to have to find it here. Galaxy. It would help if I went back and saved it. Um, you'll see that it shows up on Shopify here with all the different variants, right? And I'm going to have to go find this black galaxy leggings. And you can see that 35 are not synced. That 35 is going to account for these colors here, right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And what you'll see is the black galaxy leggings are going to be here and filled in. And for this, we're starting with the large dark purple. I wonder if there is a easier way to do this. There's not. You're just going to have to go through and choose your product. So in this case, I can go to synced items and I can click purple galaxy. And I'm going to click on dark purple galaxy leggings. And we're going to go ahead and choose the large. And bam, that's all I need to do. So here we're going to do the green, green galaxy. And again, we are going to choose the large. There we go. And you're going to keep doing that. Light purple. And again choosing the large and if you want to do it like in a simpler way you can just click on whatever um, variant you're looking to do extra small small medium large extra large and kind of go from there or not I thought that would show me, but I guess if your product isn't synced, you can't do that. So we're going to go ahead and fill all these out. So I'm just going to do the same process for all of these because I already have previous products. Whoops. That I can pull from. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all these out, and then when I'm done, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so now that that's completed, I should have eight variants in each one of the categories, and I can do this just by going back and looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, right? So a quick way to check this is just clicking on each variant using the drop down. You can see I have eight variants selected, and the same thing for small, medium large and extra large and you just want to double check that this matches this because if it doesn't then you're in trouble because the person could order an extra large and you could be giving them a small so you just want to go through and double check on that I've already done that um, for all these variants so I know that they all check out because I did actually have an extra small in the extra large so if you could imagine, as somebody who would be extra small, you order an extra small and receive an extra large, it's probably not going to fit you. So you just want to be mindful when you're going through these 
that you're picking the right variants for the right product. So now that that's there, you should be able to refresh your product. And it will now give you all of the variants from Printful. But one thing you need to notice here is that the mockup file is actually all the same. And so you're going to have to go ahead and change that mockup file because it did duplicate in Shopify, which is not what I wanted. So one thing that you can do is just go ahead and download the mockups on Printful for your variants. I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast. If you've made the same mistake I did. And you can go in and you can change the image. And you can drop those into Shopify. Then all you have to do is click on change image. And do that for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Don't make the same mistake I just did. Uh, okay, so now that I mix, fixed my little screw up, I shouldn't have picked such a large example to do. Um, you can see that each one has now gotten their mock-up changed to the color that corresponds with the variant. So you can go back here. You want to make sure that you change your description if your description was specific to the black leggings. I just changed them to galaxy leggings, multiple colors. I'll add in a description uh, shortly. I'm going to take out these color designations and you can see all the variants here at the bottom as well as the search engine optimization which again I'm going to have to take the reference to blackout, click on save and now this should be pushed to the store but the other thing that I'm going to want to do is go in here and delete the eight products that were tied to this and click on delete so now when I go to leggings, I have one listing for Galaxy Leggings. And if you click on that, you can choose your size and you can choose your color. And life is good. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, this is a pretty big example. I'm going to go through a couple different ways to do this. Um, in the second video, I'm going to go through how you push a product to um, Printful from Shopify manually, just like we kind of did with this process, and how you can add variants to that. So stay tuned. That will be the next video coming up after this, and I will link it at the end of this video for you. So if you learned something, please let me know. Um, feel free to click a like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And as always, your liking and subscribing as to my videos keeps me motivated to do more of these. So if you have any questions on the process, feel free to let me know. And if not, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good night.